Welcome to Keen on Bourbon. Today, we're testing some Booker's, the first batch of 2022, Ronnie's batch. So Booker's is made by Jim Beam. This is a cast strength bourbon. It's 124.3 proof, which is pretty good. Booker's was originally started as personally selected barrels from Jim Beam's grandson, Booker No. Those barrels are actually aged in the center of the warehouse where the temperature and humidity are most favorable. And each of the Booker's batches comes with a story about the name in this case, it's Ronnie's Batch. It's the first batch of 2022, and it's named after Ronnie Land, the longtime employee who actually tracked the aging of the bourbon barrels on paper long before they had digital tracking. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do a couple tastings. First, I'm going to taste it neat. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some ice and do some tasting with that. I'm curious what the differences in flavor are. All right, so we're going to go ahead and taste it neat. It's a semi-sweet nose. A little bit of chocolate flavor. Maybe some peach or pear flavor. A little bit of fruit. It's uh, pretty good on the nose. All right, let's go ahead and take a sip. Oh, that's very smooth for 124 proof. There's a little bit of bite at the end, but that's that's delicious. It's um, syrupy sweet. Um, I get uh, dark fruits on it. Can't place it, but maybe a little bit of tobacco. This is really, really good. And it's very smooth up front. The ending has a little bit of burn, but it's, this is tasty. Yeah, some fruit, a little bit of cinnamon, some tobacco. This is pretty tasty. Um, I know I've said that a whole bunch of times, but it's, it's very good. Let's try it on some ice. Not a rocks, rocks ice. So just using cubes today. But I'm sure this will open it up some. Definitely cool it down. I'm curious what the uh, flavor differences are. The nose is a lot more mellow. Still get some hints of fruit, but it, it's really, the nose is pretty much absent. Yeah, this is actually so smooth that the ice really calms it down. There's no burn at the end anymore. And the flavors are somewhat muted. Um, I normally do like having a little bit of ice in my whiskey, but this one, it, it just seems to mute a lot of the flavors. Still get some of the tobacco, but a lot of that fruit flavor is gone. Yeah, it, a lot of the sweetness is really gone, and it's just not, it's honestly just not nearly as good. This is definitely a, um, a neat drink. Um, this, can, this is an interesting comparison. Looking forward to doing more, more of these for the different bourbon reviews. Um, I've had some bourbons that are fantastic and nice, but unfortunately this one just isn't. However... When it's neat, I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. On ice, maybe a 6 out of 10. Um, but fantastic bourbon. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. Have a great day.